People of the internet, welcome back. My name is Leech as always. And uh, today, something different. Nothing with the series, nothing that I know about. Even the theme of the movie we are watching, I have no clue. Because this this is D800. It's a Chinese movie, to be specific, a Chinese war movie that has something to do with the Japanese attacking the Chinese in Shanghai. And they are standing their ground, I guess. It's similar to the title 300 in its name, but it's 500 more. So mm, I guess that's why they chose the name. And um, I have no recollection of ever hearing of that conflict here in Germany. All I know is that the Chinese have has been... I know where, where the timing when it's actually... When the conflict happened shortly before World War II, and I know that the the Chinese have been weaponized. I don't know if that's the right word. With German gear and training, and they have been trained by German officers. I think that's all that I know about it. Uh, the movie is from 2020, so it's only a year old. I know that there was some conflict in the Chinese. Uh, government because it's not a specific type of Chinese people that have um, that have actually stood their ground the the one the government prefers and I know that much and um, it's the normal people actually so they blocked the movie but the movie has been released I heard something about it and I heard it's really spectacular in its, in its images so that's why i'm actually looking for it uh budget should be what i got from imdb about 18 million or something so i look forward to it and uh yeah i think that's most of it that i know oh i will be watching it in its original language with german subtitles there are no english subtitles so uh i'm sorry about that but I would, have, I would have loved to see it in English subtitles, but there are none. And so that I can actually understand anything, I'll have to actually use the German subtitles. So if you are Chinese, congratulations. You can actually listen to it if you're English or your preferred language is English. Then uh, try to actually listen to the emotions coming from it and watch the images. Maybe this will help. If not, maybe... The subtitles are auto-translated by YouTube. I don't know. But other than that, I think that's enough to know. So get yourself something to eat or drink or whatever. And uh, let's watch a movie. Oh, I've seen a movie from the H Brothers. I don't remember which one it was. Is that the? It feels a bit like the American Warner Brothers. So it's a Chinese Warner Brothers, I guess. H Brothers. I'm a bit weirded out that there's no Alibaba intro because a lot of oh Tencent, of course. I have I know them now, and normally there's always Alibaba in f Alibaba pictures. Okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> at least, at least uh, the food was good. I'm impressed at how many compars guys are there are, and the ooh, the set design is really good. And I cannot tell where the mud painting. Oh shit, that's the man. <laughs> and I cannot tell where the mud painting is actually beginning and where the set is ending. What is he wearing? He has two guns, or rifles. Okay, guys with a flamethrower. Oh! <laughs> wow, there are still lights turned on and a lot of people. Okay, I don't get it. Are they also Japanese or are they Chinese? Yeah, I know that. I know that the Japanese actually covered a really big area. Well, 
taking all the land for themselves. He left the international concessions untouched in a tacit understanding between nations. Okay. Heimat! So it's the 524th division consisting of 800 men that are tasked to actually keep the line or hold the line in that case, which is the warehouse we are in right now against 70,000 Japanese and wait for reinforcements. Okay. Feels a bit like the raid in a much bigger scale. A hundred thousand Japanese soldiers, okay. <laughs> Put a flag on it so that you actually don't, uh, that you see that you don't step on it. That is weirdly simple, but ugh, it's dark and there's just a small flag and you step on it accidentally. Oh shit. Okay, so if there is heaven, this is hell, but why the fuck is there a neutral zone right next to... Please explain that to me in the comments, I won't be going over it once more, but please explain that to me in the comments. Huh? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so there is a horse. Or it's a horse stable. No, it's a CGI horse. <laughs> what is happening? Ah, free food. Okay. Oh, Japanese warships. Okay. Chinese flag is forming. Okay. They are swinging the Japanese flags. What was that? Oh, so the British military is actually there. Now I get it. Okay. British military is on that side and the Japanese won't attack them. Or probably will, but because then they would be in war with the Brits before actually World War II. I get it. Okay. Man. Are those one-shot rifles? Or is that those five-stack rifles that you put five bullets in and then pew, 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 pling? Well, 800 of them. <laughs> it looks <laughs> it looks a lot like they actually just copied them and put them in <laughs> because all of them looks the same. You should be safe on this side. There are actually people watching that. That is so weird. Yeah, people are still watching. Ah, finally. Coordinate all those people and the camera and that no one is actually crashing into each other and stuff. That is That was that was really good made a well-made perspective. I enjoyed that. Oh, they could actually come from there as well, right? Yeah, fuck it's an opening. I don't know what tiny oil is, but it seems to be a really important warehouse. That's why they actually try to get it. Okay, so they've been trained and armored with German weapons. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that is probably a guy who's playing in theater. <laughs> I guess that should have been more traumatic, but... Why would you f go go there? I don't get it. So, you're telling me there are there is material, recorded film material, or is that just something the movie made up? But if there is, if there is recorded material, then it is probably viewable. I would love to see original footage of that. Oh, <laughs> they took the meanest, baddest guys. Is he dead? He seems to be dead. They just let him die. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't didn't want to die. But why aren't the weapons already loaded? Oh. <laughs> so light brown is Japan and dark green is Chinese. But it's so hard. 
see who is who. Oh, that was a nice effect. Oh, that's large scale. It's really good. Where are there still so many people on the streets? <laughs> Yay! Feuerwerk. Firework in English, but the f what is what is up with those guys? I guess this is why he actually wanted to keep the coin, right? What is it? It's both the same, right? <laughs> Sixteen four six. What does that mean? <laughs> that horse is still running around. Now it's on the other side. Oh, there's a zeppelin with an America flag on it. So it's an American zeppelin on Chinese turf. I don't know, should again. They are they are betting on how long the Japanese take to actually control the warehouse. I don't. Oh no! What is that second black robed army? Or green? Is that, is that a darker color of green? I guess. What is with them? Is this a flamethrower troop? <laughs> absolute madness. Complete and absolute madness. Who is Miss Lou? And why is the president here? Why do I have the feeling that if you integrate a Zeppelin into a movie and it's flying so close to everything that somebody's going to shoot it down? Hey, oh, are they making holes to shoot through? Okay, get it. Okay, there's a, there's a weird, weird. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a student. Thought it would be nice over there at war, right? Stupid children. Oh yeah, these are one-shot weapons. Fuck. There's no ping, 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 pew. What is that? Oh no, it's... Uh... There's so much happening. Oh, that student died. And the second student died also horribly. <laughs> oh, the horse died. Oh no. That was the first death that actually uh, had an impact on me. On the Japanese side again, okay, what is that? What is that? Oh, that looks a lot like the Roman... And the cola. <laughs> that looks a lot like the Roman thing with the shields. Shield walls and stuff. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. And they're just shooting at the walls of machine guns. That is so weird. applauding because that is war don't shoot the Germans what I don't get it who is shooting at them the Japanese or who is shooting at them I don't get it what is actually happening cable oh for fuck's sake <laughs> Those people are watch just watching, that is so weird. So, the girl brought a flag and a message, and the flag will be hissed, and then... That is well done. I know it's a lot of pathos, but this is really well done. Oh, that sounds like... Air raid. <laughs> oh, okay. That's not a zero, right? Zeros were invented in, I don't know, 1940 or something. We're in 37. So what is that? An A5M? 
Is that a weaker Japanese plane, I guess? <laughs> I don't understand why they are doing that, especially trying to hold the flag, which doesn't make any sense in value, except that people see they are holding up the flag, but... Oh, he hit it. <laughs> now <laughs> two. <laughs> now two are holding them. Oh, that's what, that's a DVD cover. I get it. <laughs> oh, you're telling me this is a real? Was that a real thing? A real picture they propped in? Don't don't do any an, 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 <laughs> don't do any unnecessary risk. Are you fucking kidding me? You're holding up the flag with like I don't know, seventy men and all of them are dead. So is he retreating? From a filmic perspective, that was a well done scene on top of the building, but from a logical standpoint of somebody holding up the flag, I understand the pathos behind it, but. From a military standpoint, that is just plain stupidity. And I still don't get what that is actually because I'm not into the lore of Chinese warriors or Chinese things. I think it should be the lonely warrior that is now actually hurt but still standing, I guess. Something like that. No way, no fucking way that horse died like an hour ago in the fiery death and then explosions and then it got shot again. You're kidding me. Oh, that's singing. I'm sorry, but that sounded like somebody's dying. Okay, that is, that is real as well, or... So they jumped in time <laughs> and then... Now they're telling us what happened in the past before we know what is happening in the future. That is, if that was a major thing they do in, the, in that movie often or more, then that would be great. But that right now is a weird thing to do, especially when it's... <laughs> so gives a fuck about your reputation on the battlefield. That is... They both make an interesting point there. The one side is for a fast ending war so that the people actually don't suffer and the other one is for fighting until they try for the last. Both of those statements are good and both of them are true but being alive means victory. That is interesting. Somebody likes orange schnapps so much, I don't... Or liquor, it's liquor. Okay, now let's see what is going to happen. Okay. This is completely insane. What the fuck? These real things again. What is he trying to do with a shotgun? Are you fucking kidding me? Morphine, okay. Oh, that was the sentence that actually made the Chinese government really, really angry. You are the through and only Chinese people. Beautifully shot. As a filmmaker, this is a gorgeous movie. So many are going to die. <laughs> oh. Oh, 20 million Chinese died. Are you kidding me? The horse is still alive. Oh. 
they let it stand. This thing, is just, this warehouse is still standing in its original form. Wow. Oh, these are original images. Oh, it's raining outside. <laughs> I haven't realized that. That was a gorgeous movie that actually made me feel some feelings for the protagonist and for all that stuff. I know that is the goal of the movie, obviously, because it tried to invoke the feelings. Um, it was a beautifully shot movie, soundtrack great, sound effects great, all the stuff was uh, awesome. Um, of course, it's a lot of pathos involved and I don't have any ties to the Chinese government or to the Chinese people because I've never been there and uh, whatever. I didn't, I don't, didn't even know that that existed and that's why I'm so baffled with that the warehouse is actually still standing there. That is fantastic. That is a great, great monument to, to that. Um, overall, very good movie. I would actually say that is... If, the thing is, if you actually, here in the West or in Germany, we have a lot of war movies that are, well, in, especially in Germany, we have a lot of war movies that are not trenched in that much pathos because we were the aggressors in that case. So it's obviously nothing that we grow, uh, that we grew up with. So we haven't, we, we learned from being the aggressors and are now actually uh, most of us are now actually against war and against everything that that war is standing for or the the influence of the state so this is weird to us or to me especially it is weird because i grew up on the feeling not having not being overly emotional towards my my home country um, but in a lot of war movies, not only in Chinese, because that is the first one that I've seen, and of course there's a lot of pathos for the homeland, that's normal, as well as in every other nation's uh, wars and war movies, there is the pathos for your land, and American movies, Great Britain movies, movies from every other country, it's always the same, and so this is no difference. I, I take this as the same as a war movie from America, and a war movie from Japan. Everyone is the good guys in their movies, and that's fine. It was a good story. It was a well-told story, and it was a well-produced film for 80% of the movie, so I'm absolutely fine with that. Scenes that I haven't thought of, the water scenes the aggression the the camera work the props and effects everything was top notch so there's absolutely nothing that i could critique and uh, who am i to actually judge people based on on their stories so uh, i'm just a guy making films that's all so that's all the only thing that i can actually judge so i think i will dive deeper into war movies because I find it, find it fascinating how you can recreate that stuff and make it feel real and make you feel emotion. So uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to watch, but I'm going to watch more. I've seen a lot of the American war movies, so I won't be watching most of them. But I'm going to watch war movies from other countries, I guess, because I haven't seen those. So thank you very much for watching. Go down in the comments, write me something that I didn't know and uh, probably tell me about your relationship to that kind of stories. Are there films that I should watch about war stories that I probably don't know because I'm a German? So pff, what else do I know about wars in foreign countries that I've never been to, but I'm interested. So please tell me something about other war, wars or war stories or war movies that I could watch. And uh, I guess we'll see us in the next one. This one was great. Until then, my name was Leech. Goodbye.